In part one of this tutorial, I'll show you the very basics of starting your very own ePortfolio on Pebble Pen. So here from your, when you sign on, you go to your landing page. From the, your landing page, you'll see these, uh, what they call the burger menu, the three horizontal lines up there. You go to get creative. You go to create a portfolio. And it just brings up a blank page um, for you to fill out minus the preloaded pebble pad banner we can quickly start with the banner um, the, the banner is up to you you can simply click here in the top right to delete it um, you can add content put a banner back you can put the banner anywhere in uh, on the page you can give it a title Can replace the banner image. There's lots of preloaded banners here already on Pebble Pad, or you can add in your own pictures. Um, just be aware that a banner has that stretched horizontal orientation, so uh, you want to make sure that you a personal picture of your own will fit inside that orientation. And you can resize your banner, move it around, whatever works best. Other options in add content is a text box. Inside this text box, it's a great way to include about me's. Um, it could be a way to link back ass assets, which I'll show you in another video um, elsewhere you have image video or audio in ad content all of those as you can see have the same function but they just simply one allows you to upload JPEGs another an mp3 another a video file You'll be able to go to open your asset store and select an image or go to your asset store and select a video. And you can do a lot with just those few functions. Um, you can build out a portfolio in a way that shows off your skills that you that you have video of that you have images of things that you can write about um, you can begin adding on to your portfolio by clicking and in, uh, in creating tabs in a way that makes sense for you maybe you want to group some sub tabs together um, so here we have a tab of called My Experiences, and it would make sense to group group them, uh, separate them by tabs, but collect them under the same category. Um, and you can change your the titles of your tabs. Uh, so this says Spring Fall 2019. We want this to say Spring 2020. So you'll click the gear icon, and simply you'll type that in. And confirm and maybe we want to create a another tab here we can separate out add new page add existing asset add an existing portfolio most of the time you will be adding a new page assets are things that you create in pebble pad or upload to pebble pad everything that goes into pebble pad that you put in there is an asset and so maybe if you have things from other classes um, or extracurricularly you can add those as components to to a portfolio that you are to this portfolio that you're working on but you can just uh, most of the time I would say you'll be adding a new page and again you can 
put in a banner, you can put in some text, you can put in some images, and you can call this whatever tab that you're working on. Uh, maybe this is your community service tab. And you can just continue to build out your portfolio.